Hello, welcome to DIY Tech Guy. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Arduino software, build and program your first project. Today we'll create the most basic Arduino project, the blinking LED. This project will get you familiar with the software, how to load your sketches, and some common things that you'll use across all projects. It's a good starting project. If you've already created your first project, this video may be a little too basic for you, and you may want to move into some of our more advanced projects. For this project, we're going to need the following parts. A 330 ohm resistor, one LED bulb, and three jumper wires. We're also going to need an Arduino Uno and a breadboard. The first thing we're going to want to do is connect the power jumpers. So we'll use the red for the 5 volts and the black for the ground. We've got to find our 5 volts on our Arduino, and that's right here, second pin, and these are labeled. So press that into that socket there, and then also into the red rail here. And we're going to do the same with the ground. Find the ground and plug it into the corresponding ground rail. Now what this will do, this will energize this entire section here. Now on this larger uh, breadboard, it'll only come halfway down. So you can separate these into de separate voltages if you needed to. But this is a simple project. We only need five volts. So that's where we're going to get our power. The next we're going to install our LED. As you can see, one section, one of these wires is a little longer than the other. The longer wire uh, is the positive and the shorter wire is the negative. So we're going to put this down with our positive to the left and our negative to the right in a set of pins here. Because all of these going vertically here, horizontally here, are all connected. Um, and we want to do this probably at least one set. We want to do this one set back. We're going to connect the 330 ohm resistor to the negative side of the LED to the ground. And what this will do, this will lower the voltage so that we don't burn out our LED. Five volts is too much for this LED, so the 330 ohm resistor will bring that uh, value down uh, so that we do not burn this out. The next thing we need to do is to power the LED. Now we could simply power this directly off, off the red rail here, um, and what that would do, that would just give us a, 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 a just a light, and it really isn't using the Arduino at all other than for the power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the positive side of the LED to one of our digital pins. And we're going to put this on digital pin number nine. Or when we apply voltage to pin nine, it'll apply voltage to the LED and make it turn on. And then we can control that through programming to turn it on and off and make it blink. Next, we'll look into the programming where we can control that LED and that pin to make it blink on and off. Before we can begin programming, we first need to download and install the Arduino software. Navigate your browser to arduino.cc. Click on the software tab at the top of the page and click on downloads. Click on the Windows installer link for the latest version of the Arduino software. Click on one of the two download links. Your software will be downloaded to your downloads folder. Click on the downloaded file to begin the install. Go ahead and accept the license agreement. Use the default settings and step through the install process. Once the software is installed, go ahead and launch it from the Start menu. The software will launch with a template project for you to start with. The sample startup project has a pretty generic name, so the first thing you're going to want to do is save this project into your own directory where you'll keep 
all your uh, related files and everything that you want to go along with this sketch. You're also going to want to give it a more meaningful name. Up the software, you'll be presented with a sample project. Um, it's going to have a pretty nondescript name and two sections uh, for you to enter your code into. The first thing we're going to want to do is to save this into something a little more meaningful. So we're going to go to File, Save As, um, and choose a folder that makes more sense for you. And then we're going to change this name to something a little more meaningful. Blink test. Okay, as you can see here, the name has updated and we are still left with our two main sections. So now we're ready to start entering our code. So I'm gonna separate these sections out a little bit because there's a little bit of information that we don't put inside the section. The first thing I want to do is add a little information at the top regarding this program. And this is just a comment that will let me know later on what this program does and uh, anything, anything I need to know about how it's hooked up to the Arduino. This one's a pretty simple one, so I'm not going to add a whole lot. Um, another thing that has to go before any of these, uh, the setup or the loop sections, is any declaration of variables um, that, that are going to uh, be used throughout the program. And so this is where we're going to name our pin. As you recall, we connected our LED to pin nine. So I'm going to add my definition for pin nine. So we're gonna name the LED pin, INT LED equals nine. So now we can refer to pin nine as just LED uh, further down in the program. Um, <clears throat> the first section we're gonna start loading is gonna be the setup section. The setup runs one time at the beginning of the program um, and it does not loop, it doesn't run a second time. And here we're just going to initialize our pin as an output. So now we're setting that LED to an output and rather than an input. And this tells the Arduino that we're going to be writing out to this pin uh, from the software rather than reading it. Now, when the program starts, it's going to continue to loop this, this entire uh, void loop section. And that's what we want. So when this comes on, the first thing we want to do is turn that LED on. And the way we do that is... Uh, just a simple line of code here where we do a digital write LED high. And this turns the LED on high, which is equal to five volts. Um, and that will light up the light. And if we just left it like this, it would just stay lit forever. Um, but then we, what we want to do is we want to turn it off. So we're going to do a delay of 1000 milliseconds, which equals one second. So it's going to wait a second before doing the next set of code, which will be to write the LED to low. Uh, now, low voltage is about one volt, which won't be sufficient to light the LED. In future videos, we'll explain why there's one volt instead of zero volts. Uh, it, it's uh, just the way the high-low is the, defined uh, within the Arduino. Is The Arduino can uh, identify a high or a low, but it can't identify a zero volt when you're reading. But we use the same when we're writing it out. So again, it'll write the LED to low, and then it'll delay another 1,000 seconds. And I'm going to add a little bit of comment in here just to... Uh, in case you copy and paste this code that you'll understand what's going on. So at the end of this loop here, we're going to return to the loop and repeat. So it's going to turn it low, wait one second, turn it high, wait one second, turn it low, wait one second, and so on and so forth. So it'll continue to blink at a rate of one change per second. Now that our coding is complete, we're ready to hook up the Arduino to the computer. And we use a little wire like this. It should come with any uh, Arduino startup kit. Um, it's basically just a USB cable with the, the larger end that can fit the Arduino Uno. We just plug that in as so. And you'll see the Arduino start to power up and, and the lights will start to blink. That indicates that things are working correctly. See, the lights are lit. Everything seems to be alive. Now we're ready to compile our sketch and make sure that it can upload. To validate our sketch, we just need to click this small check mark icon in the upper left hand corner of the screen. You'll see in the bottom left and in the notes in the dialog section, whether it was successful or not. If you did have any errors, this is where it would show up. To transfer our program onto the Arduino, we need to click this little arrow icon in the upper left hand corner. 
clicking this icon will recompile the program and then transfer it to the Arduino. Once the sketch has finished uploading, it should start to operate immediately. As you can see here, our LED is blinking on and off, on and off, every second, just as we had predicted. This is by far one of the most simple sketches you can create for your Arduino. But you can build upon this to create more elaborate projects. Thanks for watching my video. Please consider subscribing or clicking the bell icon to be notified of future videos.